Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over some basic reports. So just did a couple basic forms in the last video, and we didn't spend a lot of time with them, and we will spend more time with them in the future. But you need to know how to create a basic form before you can do anything fancier, and you need to know how to create a basic report before you do anything fancier. Now, tables are absolutely essential for a database. Got to have a got to have at least one table. Forms are useful for data entry and for reviewing or editing records and things like that. They are not essential. Forms are not essential. And for that matter, a report technically is not essential for the function of a database. But a report is a fantastic way to share data with people. It's unlikely you're going to want to just show data sheet view of a table when you want to show some particular data. Or it's unlikely that you're going to want to just look at a query result for some data. You would like to see a report, and a report is a nicely formatted display of data. And you deal with database reports all the time. A receipt that you get for a transaction or an invoice for some work order, that is a report from a database. I did a quick little look on uh, Google Images, and I found, let's see, where I just lost it. I just looked up Blockbuster Video Store, and uh, Basically, let's see if you can see this here in the recording. There we go. A receipt is simply a report. And you can argue whether it's a good looking report or a bad looking report. Here's one over here for Walmart. But it has basic information on it that is simply getting pulled from their database. Okay, so that's kind of what we want a report for. Now, reports aren't just for receipts for customers. A report can certainly be for the business owner, for the manager, so that uh, he or she knows kind of what's going on. Here's how easy it is, though. One quick way to create a report is to click once on a particular field. Okay, so I'll click on my video rentals field. Or, I say field, tables. And then I'll head over to create and I'm going to just click on the word report and I instantly have a report it's a slightly neater looking display of all of that data this isn't a very practical report though it's huge because this is going to have like 8,000 rows in it okay so creating a report this way might be okay but probably not the best way to go I would like to point out though if you practice with forms, you're going to be better at reports and vice versa because they're very similar in structure and use. Right now I'm in layout view for my report. I can easily jump over to print preview to see how it's going to look if it prints. There we go. And I can also close print preview and I can go to design view. Design view of a report looks just like design view of a form. And I'm going to go over these various parts in more, in more detail in another vid, but um, report header, page header, detail section, page footer, report footer, and it looks like they've got a little function, a little count function in there, so they can keep track of page numbers, or actually it could be the total uh, number of uh, records. That's probably what's going on in there. Um, they've got the page properties over here under page footer, so yeah, so we can control uh, how this stuff looks, but that gets a little bit uh, more in depth. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to say no, I'm not going to save that report. It really didn't have any value to me. I'm going to make a new report. So I'm going to click Create, and I'm going to go past the Report button. I'm going to go to the Report Wizard. This report, I'd like to keep track of video rentals again, but I want to get data from multiple tables. And I can do that because my tables are related to each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my video rentals from my video rentals table I'm gonna get Ooh, I want a few things here don't I check this out I'm gonna get the checkout date and the return date from video rentals and then I'm gonna go to my customers table and I'm gonna get the customer name Probably should have got their ID in there too, but I could get it from here. That's okay. And I'm going to go to the movies table. I'm going to get the movie title. All right, let's play around with this for a bit. So I've got fields from different tables. I'm going to click next. I'm going to group by customers. 
this is actually where it'd be pretty good to have um, customer ID to guarantee uniqueness um, or something like that. And I didn't do that, but that's okay. I think we'll still get the point. I'm going to group by customer name. I'll click next. Oh, I'm sorry. The first one isn't grouping, but it's kind of like grouping. How do I want to view my data? By customer name. That's good. Um, now I can do some more grouping. This could come in handy. I might do checkout date. Okay. So that way, all this, you know, if they checked out a couple movies on the same date, that'll come in there. That's fine. Uh, next, I think I'm just going to skip next here. We can sort. Uh, sure, I'll sort by um, checkout date. I think I want to do descending order for that one though. That'll put the most recent at the top. Next, stepped layout. That's fine. Next, what title do I want? Well, this report's pretty specific now. These are going to be uh, movie checkouts by customer, and I'll click finish to see how it's going to look for me here. So this is now what I have learned. Hmm, my customer, Sophie Abbott. In January 2013, she's checked out several movies. Uh, looks like all on different days. In February, this is all grouped, arranged by movies. She checked out movies. So it looks like I really don't have a good example of checking out multiple movies on the same day. But that's just part of the data that I provided. Notice this report has 387 pages. But it is something that might be a little bit more valuable to me as a business owner. Still a lot of paper for not really a ton of data, but much better than perhaps looking at just the query results or the spreadsheet results, uh, data sheet view results. So this is a slightly more custom report. Uh, let me close out a print review and just show you what it looks like in design view. So in design view, we've got a few things going on. There are some functions in here that look pretty similar to Excel functions. Talk about those in another vid. Um, Checkout date header, customer name, uh, checkout date, return date. These are on the detail sections. Okay, so there's the basics on there. And we could, of course, change formatting and stuff like that. I'm gonna head back over to report view. So this is a, a, a more custom report than what you might be used to. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Actually, it's already saved. It's part of my uh, database objects now. And that's a basic report. So I'm thinking about a hold off here, and I want you to grab this database, and you can get the database. There's a link in the descriptions area, and then try it out. Make some forms, and then make some reports. And in fact, the database I'm giving you doesn't have queries in there, so you might go in and make a few basic queries and make reports out of queries, which you can do. Okay, have fun.